Testing, testing. I think we're live. What's going on, YouTube? We're skipping the intro today because we're just getting right into it. SpaceX just went live as well. Let's go ahead and, and uh, warp to big screen. Warp. And we'll turn the volume up a bit. Most visual no noticeable upgrade to look for this afternoon is the new water-cooled steel flame deflector, a water deluge system aimed at protecting the pad against the immense heat and force of a Starship launch. Today's test is to static fire the super heavy first stage. We are not looking to lift off today. That means the engines will not throttle up to full power. That would happen Doesn't after a lift off. But even at the power of today's test, Super Heavy will have more thrust than Falcon Heavy does at full power during its flight. Now from start of ignition of the first bank of engines through shutdown of the last engines, today's test will run just under five seconds. Prop load started at T minus 67 minutes. Now while we're fully loading locks today, we're only doing a partial load of the methane fuel, just enough to support the short test. You may notice frost over most of the locks tank, but just a portion of the methane fuel tank. We've heard the announcement for flight director. We're past the 40-second hold point if needed. T minus 30 seconds. 30 yes, seconds. John, Let's the instructor, in is commentating. the last half minute of the countdown of today's static fire. Um, for those of you, did he say if they're doing all 33 seconds. engines or not? I didn't catch that part. And I was trying to get this started. T minus 10, 9, 8, Do it. 7, Do it now. 6. There goes the splash pad. Four, three, two, one. Yeah. Power. <laughs> that was a lot of steam. They didn't waste any time. They just got right into it. I like it. And the rocket still stands, the bombs bursting in air. That was pretty sweet. We'll have to rewind it here when they're done with the stream. Man, all that locks for that. <laughs> what a waste. What a waste of oxygen. Oxygen. It's uh, distilled carbonated water. That's what they use. <laughs> Extra bubbly. just joining us the test already happened they haven't come back to tell us how how it went looked pretty pretty good to me but what do i know well you saw the countdown the water deluge system ignition of the super heavy first stage right now we're waiting to hear Tractor over reports. countdown net we reached a test duration of 2.74 seconds with Half of their engine from. shutting down prematurely okay Half their duration they were aiming for and four engines shut down. So Earth not nerminal. Here is like we, we're still waiting to find out the duration of the test. She said two and, and a half seconds, right? We had four engines shut down during the test. But we're gonna continue to monitor for another minute here in case flight director has any information over the booster countdown net. Maybe the splash pad extinguished a couple engines, huh? Yeah, 2.74 seconds. I think, I think John the instructor might have missed that. It's forgivable. It's easy to do when you host these things. Yeah, we'll run it back after the streams or I don't want to miss anything. They definitely quenched the concrete with all that water just puddling around there. The flag still stands too. It's a pretty Huge flag. I wonder how big that flag is. 50 feet, maybe? Maybe not that big. 25 feet.
Go ahead and muster up where you're from, what you're munching on while we're waiting. We don't have time to do that before this ignition, before this boomstick boomed. We got Marco, we got Poland, I saw, we got Texas. South Africa, what's going on? I've been keeping an eye on your country lately with all the murder going on. <laughs> it's not funny, but when you have a dark sense of humor, you gotta laugh to keep sane. Um, Kansas City, New Hampshire, Ohio, what's going on? The weather in Ohio is absolutely beautiful today. Blue skies, big poofy clouds. We do have a Starlink launch this well, evening around 9 p.m. We've been listening to the Booster Countdown net, but we haven't heard the flight director come back up yet. We did hear the one call out that we got into the ignition of the 33 engines. It sounds like we had four that did shut down during the ignition, but we've not heard any other follow-up. Uh, we do know uh, from uh, other discussions, uh, the pad looks good, the launch vehicle looks good, and right now the team is going to plan uh, for proceeding into the regular propellant offload of the methane and liquid oxygen propellants on Super Heavy. So right now, a big congrats to the Starship team for getting through today's test. It's right. And with that, that moves us another step closer to our next flight test. And for that, for today, we're going to close the webcast out. Be sure to follow our social pages as we uh, look to post additional information on today's test. And with that, thank you for joining us and have a good day. Godspeed there, John. All right, yeah, we'll run it back, um, but first let's finish up our... Sorry, Wiley, I just kicked Wiley in the face. He's underneath my desk. That's Peeps you saw on cam a second ago. We're gonna finish up the muster. Uh, locals chat, I do have Locals chat open. Thanks for being there, supporting the channel. Um, <laughs> Blue, yeah. Dr. Pepper and cream soda is where it's at. I haven't been drinking pop, though. Um, usually I have one every now and then, but uh, I'm sticking with the water for now. Get my Hit my workout regimen extra hard lately. Um, Keith Mabe, good to see you back. Thanks, BFR Mabe. Blue 2005, Indian, Colorado, what's going on? Colorado, what's going on? Neighbor in Indiana, Austin McMurtray. Justin Long, good to see you again. Iowa, Algeria, Finland, Maldives. Wichita, Kansas. Hungry. Mm, I'm hungry too. Dude, you guys are from everywhere. UK, London, Berkshire, North Carolina, Washington, D.C., Toronto, Canada. All right, let's go ahead and watch this thing. We'll do it again in normal speed, then we'll do it again and again in slow mo. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh. Just let it go. Let's just see the booster fly. We don't need to see the entire stack for now. That was pretty dope. All right, let's bring it back again. And I think I can do this. Playback speed. T minus 10, 9. Should we go eight, half or quarter? Seven, we'll try six. half. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, release. Need that release in my life. Feels good. And again. Five, four, three, two. What's up, Spain? One. Yeah, that's really awesome, not gonna lie. That, that's gonna look really good when it lifts off again, full stack for orbit. Ah. Oh. It seems like their plan is paying off, uh, but we can't. We won't really know till uh, it launches. I think um, will they will they do another test? What do you guys think? Let me ask you what you guys think. Do you think they'll do another static fire since they had a few engines shut down and they were aiming for five seconds? I believe they said uh, before the ignition, and then it only lasts about two and a half seconds after ignition. 
Um, I'm not sure. Maybe they'll just head right into the uh, launch, but of course they need the FAA's permission for that. Of course, I say don't ask for permission and don't even ask for forgiveness. You're SpaceX. You basically run this country. Do what you want. <laughs> well, we're behind you, all right? Screw the bureaucrats. Um, lawyer wife can defend them. That's fine. She'll win. She's cutthroat like that. Eric Beavers, what's going on? Master Chief Beavers. Eric believes they'll do another longer test. Yeah, I can get behind that for sure. I can go either way, but I'll stick with you, Eric, because I like your face. Eric the Beavers. Just down the road from Kennedy Space Center, Florida. Well, good for you, Kendra Leap. I'm Jell. Go Jelly Scootin' kind. I'm in Ohio. I don't see anything. Although I did go back to my hometown the other weekend. Um... For fireworks and uh, I passed Wapakoneta, Ohio where Neil Armstrong was born and they have a big like <laughs> that if it's this big like cut out board of Neil in front of the moon so I get to see that in Ohio that's, that's about it though we also have the Jiminy 8 capsule that he almost that almost became his coffin we have that as well but I don't get to see any launches I still haven't seen a launch yet but that's going to change with hopefully all right don't want to count my chickens but um Hopefully, with this second orbital attempt, I'll be able to make that. What else was going to say? Oh, yeah, I was getting, I was talking about the uh, Starlink launch tonight. There is supposed to be a Starlink launch tonight. We'll go live for that at 9 p.m. However, last I checked, the weather wasn't looking that great, like 70% chance it gets scrubbed. That could have changed since then. I think that was last night's estimate um, because of cumulus clouds. But we'll see. Maybe Florida will get some of this nice weather we're having in Ohio. All right. Have you seen a Starlink chain? Actually, I was just talking to my neighbor about that the other day. Um, I don't believe, I don't remember seeing one in person myself. I might have once. Sometimes we do uh, the fire pit out back and we live in the country. So I think I might've seen a few Starlink, maybe not like a really com compressed chain or train of uh, Starlink satellites. I've definitely seen Starlink satellites, but I do. I would like to see a chain. Those are pretty safe. I've seen videos of them, but that's all I can really remember. I might have dementia. I don't know. I don't remember much these days. Will it launch in August? Hmm. Well, they were originally aiming for June, July. Obviously, that didn't happen as we all expected. And I think I believe I said September, uh, and that was a few months ago. I'm going to stick with September for, September for now, even though I kind of feel like that might be wishful thinking. But we could see one in August for sure. If you're very, very optimistic, and maybe if you pray hard enough, your prayers will be answered. But I think, I'll count, I think we should count our blessings as, if it's September. I don't know. Again, SpaceX should just launch. They should just launch and get this done in August. You know, that would be my vote. What's the FAA going to do? Fine our only crewed rocket provider to bankruptcy. Is that what they're going to do? Throw Elon in jail? Pfft. Who really holds the power in this country? We just saw it. All right, it's right there on the screen. That's real power. All right, you guys, I want to call it there this time. Enjoy your Sunday, what's left of your weekend, and uh, hopefully I'll get to see you back here tonight for Starlink. Okay. Thanks for being here. Until then, Godspeed. <laughs>